Well, hello, my darlings. How are you guys doing? Just want to do a quickie little for whoever needs to hear this message as we approach Lionsgate coming up on 8-8 this week, August 8th. Just a little message for those watching. Let's see where we go. All right, all right, all right. Um, mm -hmm. If you're looking for the August monthly readings for each of the Zodiacs, they're over on Patreon. Uh, also, I do a live on Thursdays that is a Q&A live. Um, you might want to check those things out. Just take from this what resonates for you, okay? In the extended, I will look at any Zodiac signs that do show up in the reading. Okay. So, message for those watching, please, as we approach Lion's Gate. Likely a, a um, hold on, I'm not going to say that right now. It'll show up again. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. Right? Chaos and conflict. Uh-huh. Yeah. No place like home. Mm-hmm. Poised. So, though... Things are a bit turbulent right now. Um, I do know, I do feel that there is going to be another big lockdown. Okay, um, I know that's not that's not really what's what's coming through here is time to make your home. It's time to make your home your place where you do everything. It's time to make your home exactly what you want it to be, okay? So over the next couple of months, uh, as we approach this, this um, Lionsgate period, it's not just that, okay, we've been through lockdowns, we've been through all this kind of stuff, and everything's, you know, it's just sort of like, create a haven for yourself. That's what really needs to happen, is that People are going through lots of different things. There's a whole host of fears. There's a whole host of health issues, financial issues, all kinds of stuff. So what's being said to you here is about your home. And there's a lot of people who are going to be upended out of their homes. That's something that we need to work on as a group, uh, something we need to, to deal with. Um, folks are going to feel feel this chaos and conflict. So what's happening here on a personal level is really working on making your space, making your haven, making your retreat, okay? And that's going to become a much more important thing. You already have experienced some reasons why. But even more so than that, it's it's like your um, solid spot. So I'm not really necessarily talking about a physical home as much as I am about a make a home for yourself inside. Okay, so it's it's like hunker down. You know, in the 50s, it was like duck and cover when things were going on. There's going to be a need for that again. There's going to be a need for that um, protection, self protection. Self-protection in terms of your own um, light. Protecting, just like a candle, right? Do you, I don't know if you did this when you were in high school. When we were in high school, there was a children's development class, and we were supposed to carry around eggs uh, with us um, and take care of them. And it was a lesson in what it means to have something to take care of. And so I'm going to suggest that you do this with yourself. It's also like a candle. To me, it's like, how can I keep my candle from getting blown out in the midst of all this chaos and conflict, in the midst of everything that we're going through um, in 2020? How can I keep myself on track spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially? How can I focus on that? A lot of it comes from doing the work of inside healing, of um, balancing yourself, of clearing your energy, of doing all the work that we talk about on this channel, okay? Doing all that work to keep yourself solid. You need to keep yourself, well, let me say that differently. Solid, in my mind, meaning flow, okay? Being in the flow of things. So solid can be very rigid and can get broken and can get, you know, buffeted around. 
if you stay in the flow, right, if you stay in the flow of the energy, you're going to be much better off. So four of pentacles underneath, nine of wands, nine of cups, queen of wands, nine of cups. So stay very focused on what it is you're doing, what it is you're here to do, what your mission is. Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Justice, Three of Swords, Empress, woo! All right, wait, Three of Wands here. Empress, Magician, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you know um, there's a third energy here. I'm gonna call it an energy. Sometimes we call them third party situations, but I'm just going to call this an energy because this feels like an outside situation. Somebody, uh, an energy from outside creating a little bit of havoc here. Three, Empress is also a three, right? And so remember when we talked about just a few seconds ago, we talked about um, being solid Emperor is solid, it's a four, it's a, a square, okay? And in astrology, a square can be a hard aspect to deal with, it can be rigid. So this is about upbringing, this is about where you came from, um, what you believed to be true. What you believed to be true is kind of thrown into chaos, okay? Kind of thrown into chaos. There is justice there's a balancing here between the masculine and feminine energies i was going to say twin flame because we talk a lot about divine masculine and divine feminine and this feels like a balancing of those things okay and it's not what you think it's going to be that's really a message here it's not what you what you think it's going to be or it's not what you believed it would feel like or believed how it would happen like none of it everything is um up in the air everything is a little like i'm gonna say weird because that's the <laughs> that's the best word i can come up with so in the in the um there's some stability from the past okay and three of swords around that is what you thought was stable may not be stable so being in flow, it's very confusing, okay? So being in flow is really an important way to be. Do you understand what I mean by that? That if you have a lot of like rigid ideas around things, if you have a lot of belief systems that are like, this is how reality works and this is what's true and this is what's not true, it's going to be tougher than if you were like, okay, um, this is how I have believed, but willing to open up, willing to see new things as they come online, willing to, oh, be shifted into the new energy, willing to do that. This is a shift into the new energy. We have these periodic upgrades. This is a periodic upgrade that's coming, okay? And <clears throat> though you might think that the third energy is showing you how to balance, how to be in flow, your expectations are very different before than after, okay? So moving into a place of building, moving into a place of having more at your disposal, having more opportunity, having a lot more, because you've opened up, you, you're not just seeing, it used to always be interesting to me when someone would say, um, you know, I've been a da 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 for my whole career, and so they couldn't see like transferable skills, right? Like, um, I thought it was interesting when I used to I used to run a newsroom as a news producer. I was in charge of getting 25 chickens to go all in the same direction on the same day, not just like over time, but today. I need you all to you know get it done, get the project done. That was my job. And so when I left and shifted into an agency, um, 
they asked me about my management experience and I told them about dealing with the chickens and news and everything like that. And it was like, I don't see how that's management. <laughs> and I was like, all right, okay then. Um, that's fine. And so that wasn't the place for me. <laughs> Cause I was like, wow, if you don't understand that getting 25 chickens to go in the same direction and do it all by six o'clock tonight, that's not management. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, anyway, it was interesting to me that that was, and then later on, I knew that person later on, I was, she was like, Oh, I get it now. And I'm like, Oh my God, it took you all this time to figure that out. Like, can't you see what transferable skills are? This is about having transferable skills in a new, in a new energy. Okay, in something new that's coming down through Lionsgate, okay, there's going to be a much heavier weight on certain types of experience. So being able to be in flow versus having rigid ideas is going to be prized eventually, okay? It, being able to be a creative problem solver is a thing you want. That's something that's needed, right? When, you know, everything is hitting the fan. Being a creative problem solver, being someone who can work with other people, being someone who can see transferable things. Oh, that's not just a da-da-da. We can also use it for da-da-da, right? This kind of thing. And those who don't aren't, those who aren't able to do that, those who are, um, you know, sort of blocking their skill set because they believe in a certain way of being. Okay, they, this is kind of rigid. King of Swords is kind of rigid. It's like one way, this is the way. Okay, and that that is um, not true. Okay, that's not true. So in order to be powerful in this new energy, this is so interesting. Um, one must release, let go and allow the new to come in. You're being, as a teacher, as a guide, as a healer, you're being asked to move out of a state, a masculine state of rigidness. No offense, men, no offense. This is also a good thing, right? There's, there's good and bad, I guess. Polarity, right? We're talking about polarity. So the positive nature of the emperor is leadership, the positive, um, nature of the feminine is guidance, right? So can those two things work together better, work together in a balanced way? So some things are being left behind. Some things that we thought were good. I'm even going to say that I really do feel that I felt like this for a long time. The way we look at money right now is not going to be the way we look at money eventually. Um, the way we look at resources now, different resources are going to be have different values. I mean, you saw in early 2020 how much more we valued certain kinds of people doing certain kinds of jobs, and they were never valued before. It's time to value people who do jobs that are service oriented, that are helping us during pandemic. You know, it's time to really embrace. Um, different kinds of skill sets. And also I feel like money itself, how we pay for stuff. Okay. It's going to be more like a bartering kind of a thing. Three of pentacles here. Um, there's going to need to be three of us. Remember I said about, it's not really third party energy, but it is masculine, feminine, and then God, masculine, feminine, the three, the three. Okay. Male, female, and creator. That is what's going to be. So the masculine by itself, nope. Feminine by itself, nope. It's going to require all of us working together. And that's going to require us to let go of certain mindsets, certain belief systems. We're going to have to let go. We're going to have to release, surrender. All the things that we have been doing are going to change. The magician here is about embracing a new way because the fool was taking the risk, right? The fool was jumping off. Now we're up to the magician. Magician. 
and then there's the high priestess and the emperor. The one that's missing in here, there's the fool and the, um, sorry, the empress. The fool and the high priestess is missing. So the fool is just jumping off into the universe without a plan. High priestess is using your intuition. So if we build on those two things, taking a risk and using your intuition, you can see the other elements that are part of where we're going, how to balance things, how to be in flow state, instead of just being rigidly thinking about things in one way. We're gonna to need to balance that, okay? So on a personal level, I feel like if you have always done your career like this, it's time to think about it doing differently, okay? If you have always done love like this, it might be time to think of doing it differently. Like all of these, every single thing in your life is going to be turned around. And the cool part of this though is the spiritual path leads you to a place uh, poised for the future. Absolutely does. The spiritual path is one that is open to intuition, that is open to this flow state that we're moving into. We've always been in this flow state, but however, whoever has most been able to navigate that has been most able to navigate what's been going on now okay and as we move ahead in time this is not very this is only um, within this next few weeks within this next time period of Lionsgate actually three days from now um, there's going to be a massive opening okay into flow state a massive download two of pentacles seven of cups again hermit okay ten of swords ace of swords eight of cups okay so what's going to be happening is those of us on this path of spiritual enlightenment are going to be shown a lot of things. The Seven of Cups showing up again. The Two of Pentacles, how to balance, how to how to deal with things, because things, there's some stuff that's going to be ending. Ten of Swords and Ace of Swords. A new truth is coming to light. Eight of Cups. We're walking away from stuff in a shambles. This almost looks like a, a cave or something that once was a house, no longer. This is like after the tower. Um, we're going to be moving into a new truth. And it's going to it's going to be happening because the Aquarius full moon was very strong energy this Lion's Gate portal. Um, I feel y'all waiting. I feel y'all waiting. Okay? For this to be shown. What is all, what are all the ways of dealing with this? What are the gifts that we're being given? Um, and the, those on spiritual path are be give, being given a lot of gifts. And most of you, even if you haven't moved into this position yet, are moving into being teachers and guides and healers. This Lionsgate portal is going to open that up. It's going to pull away, pull back things that are no longer useful and open up opportunities for things that are. Right? Hermit and Ace of Swords. Healers teachers, guides. That is going to be happening August 8th. Not too long from now. Okay? All right. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Let's see where we go. Um, I do see Virgo energy here. I see Aries. I see Taurus and Libra. Yep. Okay. I'll be looking at that. Virgo. Virgo, Aries, Libra, Taurus. I'll take a look at those. The special, must be a special message for those. Okay? All right, link is below for you. I'll see you on the other side.